Hello and welcome back to another episode of Warhammer 40k Rogue Trader. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing our blind playthrough on the hardest difficulty, unfair, <coughs> without knowing the game. But we are not completely helpless, we've uh, gotten a couple of tricks under our sleeve. One of which is uh, trying alternative routes and the forgotten twins are going to be the next on our list we definitely want to go there but before we do that we are visiting the nameless star because whatever is in that system we're going to oh well let me retract my statement not whatever it is maybe we're leaving that alone all right Beginning scan. And we got a nice little ancient bunker to begin with. Um, before we're deploying, let's just double check what the other uh, stars have to offer. That is Plasteel, which we have already discovered we don't want to continue uh, taking. Free loot. The sight before you has excited the officer corps, um, who are delighted to witness the truly majestic end of the planet through a huge window on the bridge, one of the many nameless worlds uh, through the expanse, an unknown reaction caused by the planet to break into several uneven parts. But a strong magnetic field is still uh, preventing them from drifting into the cold abyss of space. The planet's hard inner core remained almost untouched as thousands of explosions taking place under its shell of hard metal light up uh, in the world's heart from the inside. The auger crew detect several ruined uh, extractions. On the broken planet surface, their analysis shows somebody used to mine the adamantine here, but abandoned the deposit after the catastrophe. Most of the machines are damaged beyond repair, but the tech adepts claim that one of the complexes can be restored if the rogue trader has the required parts of um, uh, equipment. Sure. A few dozen bells later, the road, uh, Lord Captain is informed that the repair crew is suffering from unrelenting headaches, most likely caused by the oppressive magnetic field of the world. However, the machines have been successfully repaired, and the extraction of the adamantine may continue if the Lord Captain wishes. Um, of course, the mine needs to be staffed with a squad of working servitors and maintenance brigade doomed to endure the endless pain caused by the magnetic storms. Sure. You leave part of the crew to extract the adamantine from uh, for the Valencia's protectorate. Those uh, fortunate to escape such fate, um, a fervile prey for the lives of their friends and family, hoping to find them in good health should they be reunited someday. Hmm, adamantine. It's like that here, yeah? Sure, we don't have that much yet, so might as well plant it. And we're out of extractions. This here looks like the most livable world. But funnily enough, nothing is on it. And then we got the projection from the warp. Interesting. All right, well, let's just explore that. When the rogue raider's ship draws near the unidentified celestial body, the machine spirit on every deck from the captain bridge to the cargo hold become frantic. The engines are refusing to cooperate, sending the void ships hurling towards the epicenter of the anomaly like uh, an arrow towards a target. You are aware that an, unse uh, that 
Uh, you, uh, you awake after unsettled sleep to find yourself lying on the stiff cardboard mat. You're overcome with a strange sense of wrongness. Uh, the place is dark and reeks of body odor. Someone elbows you under the ribs and grabs you by the collar, spitting abuse. It is an enforcer patrolling the void ship, and she clearly is displeased. Ask what the problem is. The enforcer tosses you unceremoniously into a corner where she similarly wrecked people in a, uh, that are scrubbing the deck. According to the sign of the bulkhead, this is Bay Theta 54, the lower decks you have work to do. You need to get moving. Rob a guard post and contact Victus uh, using a stolen Vox. You've been studying the Enforcer for several cycle now. Uh, cycles now, observing shift changes. Um, trips to the mess, games of the recite, the aftermath of boozing sessions on the fourth day during a shift. You sneak into a small room, find a Vox caster that someone leaves uh, left behind. Upon hearing your voice, the Vox, uh, Vox master gives praise to the Emperor of Humanity. Victus explains that you were trapped in an anomaly that made people on the ship inexplicably trade places. Rescue squad was dispatched at once uh, in search for the uh, Lord Captain, but you beat them to it by contacting Victus yourself. You had to wait several more cycles for the escort uh, squad to make their way from the utmost deck down to the very bottom. Informed about high-ranking guests in their midst, the overseer of Beat uh, Bay Theta 54 tried to brighten your stay with passable food, a soft bed and even warm water, a privilege not according to the locals. Eventually you see the familiar faces of the escorting officer who have uh, come to retrieve you. All right, teach a lesson to all enforcers on the lower deck. Showing disrespect to the Lord Captain is an un in unforgivable oversight, even um, if he appears in Rex before you as a servant. And while you make your ascent to the Voyager bri uh, Bridge, several hundred forces are driven into MP compartments equipped with a mechanical thousand-headed gallows. Uh, one turn on the switch and they all receive punishment they de uh, deserve. The Vox Master praises the Emperor of Humanity as you make your entrance to the uh, mm, Captain's Bridge. Victus explains that you were trapped in an anomaly. Yeah, okay, we got that. Hmm. Well. That indeed was strange. All right, let's land on the planet, an ancient bunker. Interesting. Suffering is part of the trial. It seems that the poisonous vapors somehow found their way into the bunker's I ventilation system. An old Imperial bunker. Ah, there are some on Dargonas too. A little patience and you hear the tired clicking mechanism from far beyond the wall. The door opens slowly with a ground. The mummif mummified corpse has his arm outstretched. Embrace true power. I shall repay your strike, shan't I? Damage is inevitable. The world will bow. Pathetic. Triumphant. As always, flesh is weak, yet I know no pain. The world trembles beneath my feet. Interesting. So we got a med kit and an old seal. <laughs> my warp I 
it reveals Powers something. Unseen, I woke my up path. with a feeling of wonder, as if a <laughs> field of flowers was blossom nearby. A child was <coughs> saved from death. Focus. A thousand Focus. heretics were burning Let's alive, begging and sobbing and howling. Yeah, I can't open that. Error it's insufficient nothing. power. Okay, Increase we need to re-establish the power first. Ugh. Pain and duty go hand in hand. Uh, your efforts amuse me. Grants uh, officer key. Grants access to the archives. That's good. This here looks like an area where we need to hurry a little bit. Decayed throw a uh, scroll. Three hundred and forty-eight years ago, our ancestors arrived here. Okay, fair enough. Uh, just a minor setback. I tread a path unexplored. I don't even want to fight in these circumstances. Imagine. I'm still new to the art of exploring. When the faithful are idle, heresy grows. I will endure. Powers unseen will <coughs> uncover my power. I will go down easy. I'm not injured. I'm enraged. All right. Insufficient power here as well. The world will bow. These guys potentially all starve to death. I'm tired. How long has it been since Doomsday? I think uh, it was 36th year when the heretical uh, cholera wiped out half of the people. Um, time has stood still for us since. It was long ago. And what a convenient solution to the overpopulation problem. The commanders think uh, br uh, they uh, we brought uh, this coincidence. Morons still... When I look in the mirror, I see my father. The same wrinkles by the eyes, grey temples. Which I mean, uh, which means I'm over 60 and we've been underground for longer than half a century. No sky, no sun, no joy, and no hope. Oh wow. The world trembles beneath my feet. Got a warehouse my key. Resolve is unshaken. My faith shields me. Intriguing. Bath to regulate the flow. Okay, fair enough. Let's seize the opportunity. Before is an ancient but wholly typical console. Uh, intended for the use of people not trained in the mysteries of the Ministerium to Machine Spirit, the Cogiator is completely silent, but you approach, you sense a warmth emanating from the metallic casing, a telltale that the si uh, machine is still working. The uh, spirit of this machine embodies this resilient and indomitable in the den of decay and entropy. Still does it reign over this place. Status of uh, life support system unknown. Uh, warning, backup generator con um, connected. Warning, air filter is damaged. Now we don't want to activate the automated uh, defense system. I've suffered worse. Because that means we are the intruders. And no, but no thank you. Breeding damage to Volk. Powers unseen <coughs> uncover my power. The road take you. <coughs> Good, we got a propane tank. Oh, pathetic. Which fits where exactly? 
My resolve is unshaken. Embrace will true endure. power. <coughs> Focus, Van Kellogg's. A rusted reservoir Focus. for storing drinking water. I won't go down easy. Good, we need to establish the pro painting somewhere. The world will bow. Pain cleanses the body. My resolve is unshaken. Less love. I'm not injured. I'm enraged. What? What a shame. Damn what a shame. Negligible. Okay. I will endure. My knowledge has its limits. Deliver us. Operation uh. successful. Good. Well, we got a lot of stuff here. Don't frighten me. What is this? Combo tool. Grants ten to tech use. Uh, that's an interesting one. Um. Well, our tech use is already relatively good. But this here would make it even better. Problem that I'm seeing is the other two aren't bad either. Target Destinator. But I think this one here is okay. We can use the Target Destinator a bit later. Oh, pathetic. Good, we need to get the backup generator working. My resolve is unshaken. Hmm. Scorn the pain. I serve the golden throne. Where is that generator? That's a good question. Maybe back here. <laughs> it must be somewhere. Let's seize the opportunity. Amuse me. Status of li uh, li life system unknown. Failed. Backup generator connected. Oxygen disabled. Pressure levels normal. Insufficient power. Automatic defense system activated. Fantastic. With your permission, I would extract uh, the command blocks of this noble machine. Hold vigil for its deceased spirit. The Omnisire preserves the face for. Embrace true power. Okay, the problem that I'm seeing is we're now having the automated uh, defense system up and running, and we have no idea what that means. Sister you are always shrouded in a greenish gray mist when I see you. Okay, we're going is it me that troubles you? Or is it we're going through I there in a second. It? My soul is open to Beforehand, the light. Forehand though, we do have a couple of a doors over the rest here. Is merely fleeting frailties there that we go. No, 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 no. The oh, Emperor my sets my path. The burden of failure is the most terrible punishment. Never doubt me. Nice. So what do we have here? Sworn Protector. Um, 
That's a good weapon. A decent, uh, decent rate of fire. Few parchments bearing the winter uh, scale seal contains plans for military operation and the mentioning of a doomsday weapon. I yeah, that is that is the treacherous part about the Warhammer uh, universe. People are easily sacrificed for quote unquote the greater good. The price of human lives is very very easily paid. Let's seize the opportunity. Some unknown accident caused the elevator shaft to collapse. Someone uh, sought off the emergency stairs and tried to conceal the damage. The world. I would have loved to see where this year is leading. Don't tell me it's Embrace a dead end, man. True power. Okay, reaching the lower levels at this point would require sending a mining team. Intriguing. Okay, so apparently we have cleared the bunker and it's now ready for a mining team. Let's just double check. No, nothing else that we can do here. This might lead to us running into the automatic defenses that they were talking about. Well, complete and utter absolute surprise. Do you dare to look me in the eye? Who would have guessed, right? <laughs> It's come what a complete shocker. All right, let's start the battle. Uh, how about we're giving Heinrich a, job for the a turn? Every buddy gets a buff. Heinrich buffs himself. Cassie is done. Saiken. Yeah, they can't move, so oh, that wouldn't fly. I am a navigator, not a service. Backline. Uh, we're doing front line right here because why not? If you insist, Lord Captain. If 
I may. Nice, toughness removed. That thing is down to 250, so it lo lost 40 hit points just in one attack. Saiken gets a buff. Uh, we don't want to remove all of our own cover, so I'll leave. I'll, I won't do that now. Instead, what we're going to do is we're handing over an action to, to Saiken. Gives everybody closer. defense. And then Hammer of the Emperor. Fantastic extra damage. I will triumph. Ruin beckons. Rend the flesh, shatter the spirit. Very good. We're looking at one turret who's going to go down sooner or later. Uh, Pascal. Is putting backline over here. Um, uh, then we are. Moving to here, because why not? Disable this uh, thing. More damage. Good hit. Uh, we are just doubling the bonuses here. Whoever wants can use uh, Blitz Stratagem. He's moving a tiny bit back and we're giving everybody a nice bonus. That is a problem. Let's see to it. Okay, I'm cool. I'll put my psychic abilities to use. But uh, we're st we can subjective. still take uh, take them down. For the throne's glory. Heinrich misses with his shot. Um, yeah. Follow my lead. Let's catch you up. Saiken is our remaining uh, healer, uh, damage healer. Sorry. It will be done. Taunt both of them. And hit back. this turret. Wow, massive four points of damage. Please. Not that much damage at once. Indeed. We are continuing to... Uh, to buff. I need no guidance. I 
my will triumphs. Purpose guides me. I will delight my masters with your demise. Fantastic. And once we're at it, there is no mercy. Cassia takes an extra turn. Buffs herself. Me, if you insist, Captain. It's both of these uh, things, which is good. Isn't this a job for the serfs? It's them once again, which is fantastic. Damage reduced. Isn't this a job for the serves? I am a navigator, not a servitor. Isn't this a job for the serves? Good, and we're moving over here. Cool. I tell you what, we're back in action. Cassia continues to... What's her stats, by the way? Yeah, okay. For so many extra turns, she got a lot of willpower. And we could give an extra turn to here or here. More damage. There, she self buffs. If I may, one hit. Isn't this a job for the serves? And another hit. Fantastic. She's doing well. See, that's the beauty of our team. If only that were possible. I'm afraid not. Oh wow, Saiken takes a lot of damage. Naturally. I won't object to it. But of course, be gone. Fantastic. I'm not interested. At your back and forth. Good hit. I will do my duty. Victory is imminent. Good. Saiken definitely I'll needs to heal place. himself. One step closer. I am another foe painted black. Kasia gets finally one more of these things down. Shifts the damage aura over uh, the damage zone over to here. Is this a job for the serves? And In then the hence an action Celia, back to Saiken. Purpose guides me. Accept my offering. One. Two. Three. Triumph. This is beneath me. I won't waste my time on that. 
Uh, can't really reload. That is so unfortunate. One step closer. I want to summon a, a demon, so we're being really careful with our action points here. Sow the seeds of discord. I reject the very idea. I will triumph. Okay, decent damage uh, from him. Cassia moves to here. Debuff. I'm not One hit. Oh, I just destroyed our cover yet again. The thing the is down to two hit points. Everyone, step aside. I'm done with this one. Cool. We should be down. Um, yeah. Unseen, that was a very, power. very different uh, fight. Uh, and the solution might have been just to deactivate these things. That automatic, uh, that automatic uh, life system seems to have been disabled as well. That's oh, really unfortunate. I'm not sure if we can mine here with all of these gases. We can't just reactivate it, right? Maybe outside here, we're just not getting any. Um, we're just not getting any oxygen, but the rest is fine. Close combat, but it showed just how OP Cassia is. Lord uh, Captain, the crew was sent to the surface. Reports that they have cleared the collapsed passage leading to the lower levels. After exploring the abandoned rooms, they discovered valuable cargo that has already been brought on board. Okay. That's what I'm talking about. Well done, crew. That is what I'm talking about. Okay, so... In terms of... In terms of uh, purchasing stuff, we are again out of uh, excavators, which is not good because I need those for our materials. But it also appears to me that I may be just exploring a bit more than the game normally uh, would require. I have no idea if it is normal to go through all of the systems. It seems to me that maybe I've been missing some of the main systems. The only thing that we've gotten was Janna so far. Uh, before we're doing anything here, Opticon, those guys are the ones with the extractors. 
And we have nothing. Hmm. This here is pretty uh, pretty good, but it's Alderia equipment. All right, let me figure out how we can raise it. Okay, we got us a couple of weapons, but none of them are really uh, that impressive. But uh, we also got ourselves a bit other stuff so repulsor shield that's a good one straight upgrade to what we currently have then we got the gyphone pattern torpedo five torpedoes with 19 damage uh, which to me seems like a straight upgrade to what we currently have And then we got plate steel, five, uh, mm, five points of damage on each side. Okay. Seems very much legit. We can also upgrade a couple of other uh, things. What do we want to get? Vulnerability scan. Mm, highlight weak points. Uh, damage dealt to a weak point is increased by 30%. Strafe, that is good. That is fantastic. Shield Pulse, overloads the shield. Um, disrupts enemies' defenses. Hmm, that isn't bad. While moving, the flagship may make its next 90 de uh, turn 90 degrees instead of the usual 45. Uh, I think that's not too bad. Maneuverability is really the key. Uh, no, I think that is even better. Nice little uh, shallow warp jump. Cool. Very cool. Not that I think it will make a huge difference because it feels like uh, the it feels like uh, the f uh, fight with the ships are always super super close. If you're unlucky and uh, the enemies just move into a uh, strange position, uh, then yeah, all of this doesn't really matter to you. Carlos Winter uh, uh, Scale found out that the secret gas factoriums. Hmm. We just received two profit factor. Let's chart out new routes for starters. Interesting. We can't really move here or here. No connection. But we could put uh, more people in harm's way to get Promethium and chemicals, which, yeah, people, it's not necessarily a surplus that we are having. Good. Complacency plus two. I don't know why you would ever take that.
Yeah, uh, here we you need to have a certain amount of complacency to even get to that level. Efficiency, people, weapons. Okay, so some of these projects are essentially locked for now. So we could either get good tidings, which would give us mass complacency, but also a pretty sizable critical hit uh, chance, or just straight up complacency without any benefit. It, yeah. All right, let's do good tidings. Uh, before we're moving on, Janus, I think, did get, give us some as well. All right. New contract is available. That's fantastic. A cure for the sloth. Um, efficiency for all colonies. That would be great. I think we're just going to do that. Okay, fabulous, and I also think that that brings us to the end of today's episode because we got uh, through a full sector, uh, did a bit of a side quest, and got ourselves up to 40 profit factor, which isn't bad. I actually appreciate our, our wealth at this point. These here seem to be still off limit. And since I still haven't found any non-combat space events, well, we had one, uh, I think, with the warp, uh, with that warp entity, but that was about it. And once you have been in a sector, you cannot scan it again, right? So this here means we have scanned all of those sectors. Yeah, we've scanned all of those sectors. And you can see there is a fine line to the or sell your prophecy. But it potentially means we will need to travel in uncharted uh, or dangerous um, yeah, dangerous routes. Don't even want to know what red means, which potentially impossible. All right, that's the end of it. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. And as always, if you want to uh, warp travel together with me, make sure that you are exploring the like button so that we uh, have a joint uh, goal in mind, which is uh, safe warp travel. Thanks a lot. Have a good one. And uh, goodbye.